Morning and welcome. Today is Saturday the 2nd of March. It is 20 to 7. We got up at half five, had some breakfast, came down here, and obviously now we're going to get set up for a three hour bike ride. So the Saturday session is a long bike and the Sunday is a long run. So today is the long bike ride. It is three hours long. And the goal is to sit in zone two heart rate for my bike, which is about a 129 to 146 heart rate for three hours. We're going to go through a few things we're going to do before that. We're going to go through a few things that we're doing, going to do during it, and let's go. No Augusta, we've got a class at 8 o'clock, so I'm going to get the rowers out of the way, because we're going to set up in this corner so we're not interrupting the class. So let's get set up. Now one of our very kind members, Bex, has, has lent me this bike, a what bike Atom. Amazing piece of kit. I've had it for the last six or seven weeks, I think maybe. Um, I was doing, I was doing all the workouts initially on the assault bike, and it came to a point where I couldn't get the right stimulus for the workout. So the, the pace I was having to go at, with the heart rate I was having to be at, um, I couldn't quite get on the assault bike. So Bex kindly has lent me this. Um, it's an amazing piece of kit, like I say, and we're going to combine that with a, uh, a Swift on the iPad, which is a cycling. Um, almost like a video game if you like, but that's been a game changer. So this setup with the, uh, the Swift has been uh, an amazing tool to uh, get into a specific heart rate and a working amount of time and also not get bored by it. So I quite look forward to doing the cycle, uh, doing the bike uh, because of this bike and also the, uh, the Swift, which we'll take a look at in a second. So pre-bike ride, there's a few things I wanna have uh, in place before I get onto this to, to feel the best, so or to feel as good as I can. One is a decent night's sleep. So last night was a little bit short, six and a half hours. It's not ideal, it's probably a little bit too short for, for what I need. Uh, we've had a good breakfast. So we've had two English muffins with some jam. Uh, I've had a peppermint tea, uh, a caffeinated drink, and then we're also just drinking um, some water, 500 mils of water with some electrolytes and a little bit of carbs in it. Um, and on the bike, uh, I've figured out in the last few weeks that I need about 80 grams of carbs to kind of keep going and keep sustaining a pace. So we're gonna go through what we're gonna eat and drink on the bike. So here is what we're gonna be having on the bike itself for the three hours. So we've got a litre of water in this bottle, there's 750 in this bottle. Uh, I've got a little bit extra carb if I need it in there. Um, and then 80 grams of carbs, um, these are fantastic. These are Morton Hydrogel Sports Drinks. So in each of these packets, there is 80 grams of carbs exactly. So that will go in each bottle. So we've got one for one bottle and then one for the other bottle. And also uh, Jelly Babies. So for 100 grams of Jelly Babies, there is exactly 80 grams of carbs. So that's gonna get me through three hours of uh, bike riding. Also, we're gonna put in one tablet, maybe two. Uh, one tablet in this bottle. So I'll probably have, I'll always have this bottle generally first. I'll put one of these uh, tablets in there. There is a good amount of, let's see if we can focus on this. It's not gonna focus. Um, I'll put the details on the screen if, if I can find them. So it tells you exactly what um, is in each tablet. But these are really good as well. So these are tablet versions of the packet I put in my drink this morning. So uh, that's what's gonna sustain me on this bike ride for three hours. The hardest part of today's workout is, it's I think it's like one degree today. I said in my car, one degree. Um, is putting the heart rate strap on with cold water when it's this cold. Um, it's the worst part. It's a, it's a bit that I don't look forward to. As soon as it sounds, I think I prefer the actual uh, three hour bike ride to putting this on thing in the cold. So the goal for today's workout, like I said, is three hours and it is just to sit in a heart rate zone, which is zone two, which is the aerobic heart rate where you're utilizing oxygen. So you can just keep going. So it's out, you're out of breath, 
it's a comfortable challenge, but you can just sit there for a long time. The goal obviously for the bike is, for the full Ironman, it's 112 miles. So the goal with that is between six and seven hours. So today's gonna be like potentially half of that. I've got no idea on distance. I'm just gonna sit in, the, in that high rate zone for three hours and uh, keep an eye on this swift game. Drink some water, get my fluids down and get fuel, keep fueled up and just to sit there. Doesn't matter how far I go. Uh, I'm not too interested at the moment because it's quite early days, but um, we'll see how we get on. So, three hours, let's go. Unexpected. Big recovery time. Well, that was tasty. Um, the training then, let's talk about the training. So the training structure we're doing is based off this book. So um, this book was recommended to, me, recommended to me by one of the members that was here. Um, he'd done an Ironman, so I recommend, he recommended this. I picked it up and it's a, it's a brilliant book. So I'm doing one of the programs in here. Uh, we're gonna go straight to what we're doing. So there's three programs like I mentioned. Uh, I'm doing the competitive program. So it's the higher volume, there's, there's more hours, and there's more specific training in there regarding heart rate and distance and things like that. Um, so what does the training look like? So a training week structure is Monday is a rest day, but however, I'm gonna do three strength days a week and that's gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. What goes into those it depends on how I feel on the day to day, um, but we're generally doing like a push leg, sorry, a pull, a legs and a push split. So it'll be uh, nothing too intense, literally in and out of the gym within 30 to 45 minutes, including warm-ups. So uh, there'll be a big lift in there just to maintain some, some strength and some muscle mass. And then some things to like higher rep schemes with some supersets and bits and pieces. But nothing too complicated, that isn't the focus. So the focus is the cardio side and being and obviously increasing my endurance. But the, the strength stuff is really important and we always reiterate that to members or people that are coming in that are in doing joint, endurance events that actually strength training is a massive key for staying healthy, injury free, and just feeling stronger on those particular demands. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday are gonna be strength days, uh, but Monday on the, on the actual training plan is a rest day. Tuesday is a swim, and Wednesday, uh, sorry, Tuesday is a swim, and it's also a run. So swim in the morning, run in the afternoon, Wednesday is so a strength day, and there's also a brick session, which is a combined bike into run session. Pretty demanding, very J legs. Um, I've only done a couple of those previously, so uh, we'll get into that in a second. Thursday is a swim and a bike again. And then Friday is a strength session in here and a run. Saturday is the long bike workout, which we've just done that today. And then tomorrow, Sundays are a long run. The program in here, the competitive program in here, is a 30 week program. It is uh, split into three 10 week phases. The first 10 weeks is a base phase where you're just getting an aerobic base. So you're kind of building the capacity just to move for a long period of time at a steady heart rate. And that's across the run and the cycle. The swim is slightly different. It's uh, quite a lower, it's a little bit lower volume. So each of the swim sessions is two and a half thousand meters. The next 10 week phase is a, a building phase. So you're just building on the base you've already built. So it's a little bit higher volume. There's more hours to go into the training per week. The, the volume goes up a little bit. There's more higher heart rate work. And then the last phase, this is a, the last 10 weeks is a peaking phase. So the peaking phase is getting yourself ready for that particular event. And obviously mine's in September. So there's, um, it's a, it's, it peaks to sort of 20 hours the week before the event. So it's pretty high volume. So never done that before. So we're gonna see how that goes. If I'm gonna struggle to do that with much volume, then I'll go to the intermediate program. Um, obviously we're trying to juggle work and running a business in bits and pieces. So the goal is to hold on to that competitive program for as long as possible. Uh, it looks really interesting and I'm really keen to give it a go. But if not, I'll back onto the intermediate program if, if, if uh, time's short or time's precious or things are not working out as the way I wanted to. But the, the goal is to do that the competitive program. Now, because I've already done the first 10 week base phase, what I'm gonna do is go back and do it again, because there's nothing wrong with repeating that phase. It's fairly low intensity. There's not so many hours in the week that's, that's unmanageable. Uh, but what I'm gonna tweak is the volume. So um, what I mean by that is the first run on the first Tuesday in this book is a 30 minute run. However, what I've done over the last 12 weeks is build the capacity 
to do the hour run, which is basically the last couple of weeks. Um, the, the last two Tuesdays, it says it says to do an hour. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm, just going to, I'm not going to go back to the half an hour unless it's a deload, which is every four weeks in this. So um, when I actually, like, the, the three weeks I am working hard for, there'll be, like, 45 minutes to an hour runs during the week rather than doing the half hour runs it tells you to do at the start of the program. So there's little tweaks I'm going to make to this. Um, but again, depending on how I feel, it's all pretty new. So that's the goal is to sort of repeat that 10 week phase and just maintain that higher volume. So my fitness keeps building rather than slipping back into a lesser volume. So for an extended period of time. What I have noticed over the first 10 weeks, 12 weeks of doing the program is difference in how I'm feeling and obviously the capacity that I can now do compared to where I was at week one. Uh, we always tell people to start, if, like members or whoever's you know coming into the building, um, or just just general advice for fitness, um, just just start. That the first one's going to suck probably, and uh, I can testament to the my first run based on that workout. The first half hour I did was was horrible. It was absolutely vile. Hated it. Um, felt heavy. Felt out of breath. Was wheezing. Um, obviously having, having a bit of asthma, but obviously yeah, it, it was just not very nice. The same for the swim. the swim. As a previous swimmer, the swim is a skill I've already got. Uh, but again, just not being in the pool for a lot for a number of years, just felt very rusty. Um, but over the course of doing, you know, two or three sessions a week based on running and cycling and, and also the swim, um, it's starting to feel really good. So my, let's take my first swim workout, which was the a Tuesday or a Thursday, I remember. It was a two and a half thousand meter swim, broken into little into bits and pieces of different sets. But my pace was a minute 45 or 46 for every 100 meters and my heart rate was about the same about 145 10 weeks later when i repeated that workout again my heart rate was 133 and my pace was 134 35 for every 100 meters so heart rate down 10 beats a minute time down 10 seconds for 100 meters um, just being more efficient being able to utilize your oxygen better based off you know the capacity of all the training for anyone watching who's knows about starting a fitness program or even just messaging us at the gym or just starting anything that's gonna be difficult, you gotta start. So we always say to people, just start wherever you're at, and I'm a testament to that. I'm not an endurance person. I used to swim, but I used to be a sprinter. Two lengths was my max distance, 50 meters. Um, so I'm not a runner. Haven't been on a bike since I was about 12. Um, so it's all new, but again, just learn to love the process, enjoying that journey of kind of growing, progressing, and seeing the results. The, the key is being consistent. I didn't run the other week because I had a little kind of calf strain from a workout I didn't hear. And uh, I really actually, when I, got back, when I got back to the running the following week, uh, I, really, I realized that I'd really missed it. and I'd really missed running outside, which is never something I thought I'd say. But it was really good fun. I really enjoyed being outside in nature, fresh air, having a bit of rain on me. It was the best feeling. So it was fantastic. So thank you for watching this video. This is episode two about the training itself. We'll see you on the next one.